Good morning, North. I'm Grace. And I'm Brayden. And today is Wednesday, February 26th. Please stand respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge to allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go back up. Oh. <laughs> Students who have passes to come see at lunch. Okay. Sorry. Use the gym doors. Please respect the classes in eighth grade halls and do not use that entrance. Students who bang on the doors or enter the building through them during lunch will receive lunch detention. Thank you for all of your cooperation. When you look your best, you do your best. Students at North are encouraged to be respectful and use good taste in selection their clothes and follow the basic modesty codes. Specifically, students are not allowed to wear head coverings, including but not limited to hats, bandanas, or hoods during school hours. All tops must be covered at the midriff, must have straps and at least three fingers wide, and cannot be low cut. All shorts and skirts must be long enough to reach the wearer's fingertips. Midriffs or stomachs may not be shown at the school. No undergarments are to be seen at North. Pants should be secured at the waist and belts must be secured by loops. They may not hang. Pajamas and slippers are not allowed in North. Sleepwear needs to be remained at home. Furthermore, garments with offensive language or suggestions and garments that advertise the use of controlled substances, including alcohol and tobacco, will not be allowed. Chains, chains may be used as weapons and are allowed, not allowed on North Campus. Attention Talent Show Master Ceremonies participants. Auditions are today at lunch and Thursday Feb and tomorrow, February 27th at lunch in basement room 16. You will wait to be called upon in the hall. Bring your lunch on that day and be ready. The following people will audition today. Isabel Forbes, Jeremy Lopp, Jackson Centeno, Heaven Santoya, Riley Swank, Tori Leto, and Drew Mitchell. Tomorrow's auditions are myself, Josh Fritz, Zoe Harpel, Naya Robinson, Kayla Maxey, Colleen Coulthard, and Lauren Kerner. Please let Ms. Cox know today if you have decided not to audition. Good luck to all. All right, Vikings, I hope you came prepared with your $2. $2. It's donut day. Please pick up your outside of the cafeteria today at break. If you need $2, be sure to ask Mr. Rowe to help you out. And now a quick word from the library. Good morning, North. All right, we have some new library books to share with you and a few other things. We have our props out here for Read Across America, and I'll talk about that a little bit at the end. I know they're fuzzy. They're cute. Oh, wait, can you see them? There's one. There's our elephant. There you go. All right. Don't mess with the tree. <laughs> That's right, the Lorax. <laughs> All right, let's start with starters. This one is Spore Wars wiped out everyone between the ages of 20 and 60. This leaves Callie and her little brother to kind of, they're on the run, they're fending for themselves, and their only hope, they decide, is called the Prime Destination. It's an organization that rents teens' bodies to enders, who are seniors, people who are over the age of 60, who want to be young again. Callie needs the money, she agrees to be a donor, and then she wakes up and instead of being out of the body or being herself again, she's still in the life of a rich renter, and she discovers that the renter has an evil plan in mind. So this is actually the first book, Starters, the second one is out as well, and it's called Enders. So if you like a little weird sci-fi, kind of almost sounds like kind of a body snatchers kind of thing, this might be a good option for you. All right, here's that one. All right, the next one is Candy Bombers. This is the story of Lieutenant Gail Halverson. He began dropping chocolate and gum, can you see it, into West Berlin after World War II. Oh. Um, he knew the children there were suffering. They didn't have a lot of food. The Soviets kind of had a, a block around Berlin. Um, you couldn't get in. Um, so he starts dropping this candy. Well, it turns into this giant operation where they're dump dumping tons and tons of candy over a couple of years from tons and tons of planes. So it's a really nice story. has a lot of good pictures in it, um, actual pictures of the planes and the kids and things like that. It's a quick read, uh, but this is really a nice nonfiction story. All right. 
La next one, Liar and Spy. This is a story about spies, games, and friendship. So, seventh grader Georges moves into a new apartment building in Brooklyn, and he meets uh, his his first friend. His name is Safer. Kind of an odd name. He's a self-appointed spy. Well, he gives Georges uh, some assignments to stalk and kind of spy on neighbor Mr. X, who's kind of mysterious. Well, it kind of turns out. Georgia starts to wonder, well, why am I really doing this? Why is, what's, the, is it a lie? Um, is it a game? How far should I go for my only friend? So it's kind of a cute little story. Liar and Spy. I do have two new books that are out at the moment. If you like, this is book number three of the Lunar Chronicles. This one's called Cress. The other one is called Cinder and Scarlet. So if you like these, we do have number three. It's out. Come put it on hold so you get a chance at it. It's a series of four. Um, it's a new take on a really old fairy tales. And it's kind of, it's really a weird take. It's a sci-fi take. So Cinder is futuristic where humans, cyborgs, and androids kind of coexist together. So kind of figure out how that'll work. So Cress is out. And we also have a new one by Mike Lupica, if you like the sports books. This is QB1, so QB, quarterback. Um, it's a novel set um, among the Friday Night Lights, the football culture of Texas. Texas, if any of you know, they are crazy about their high school football. This is where it's set. It's kind of inspired by the real-life Manning brothers, Eli, Peyton, and their dad, who's also a famous quarterback. Sorry, I can't remember his name. So that's what that ins that's inspired by. So that's quarterback one. So um, we do have, we'll have a lot of displays for Read Across America. We'll be reading on Friday, so make sure you get in to get a book so you have something to read at the end of the day. We'll put out a display. We've got tons of these cute little characters. We'll put out all the Dr. Seuss books. I mean, who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? His actual birthday is on Sunday, March 2nd, and we will be celebrated all next week, so make sure you listen to announcements um, and come in and see the prizes. We'll be giving away things. We have lots of cool stuff going on. All right, so that's it for today. We'll see you soon. OC High Football will be having an information meeting at their program on Monday, March 17th at 6.30 p.m. in the football film room, which is downstairs in the old gym on the intersection of 9th and Washington. This is, this is for all of the par parents and any players that is interested in football for the fall of 20, 2014. Coaches will discuss the program and some new and benef beneficial changes to, or program improvement. A faculty tour will be also taking place and the coaching staff will be there in the meeting and answer any questions you may have. Attention future Lady Braves. This spring we are again offering a special opportunity for our future Lady Braves. As many of you are fishing, finishing your AAU seasons, we would like to invite you to join our spring camp to reinforce the skills you learned and teach your other valuable fundamentals. This is for this year's 7th and 8th graders, and it's held on the first three Thursdays in March, the 6th, 13th, and 20th, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. each day. It will be at the Boise High New Gym, and, cost, and the cost is $40, which includes instruction in Boise High Water Bottle. Tryouts for girls lacrosse are Monday, February 24th to February 27th. On Thursday, Coach Tracy will send a text to let everyone know which team they have made. An email will be sent af out after that which has the rooster, roosters, ro rosters uh, for each team. For, for more information, see the printed announcements in the hall or on the daily announcements link on the North website. Your lunch choices for today are orange chicken or meatballs with rice in the specialty line, or hamburger, meat and cheese cracker stackers, or personal cheese pizza in the classic line. Happy birthday today to Hunter Southard, Aza Khan, and Haley Bagey. Uh, happy birthday, Vikings. That's all your announcements for today, North. Have a great Wednesday. Because I'm the happy. Come along and give you